what's up y'all come spend a week with me okay so this is a vlog and i'm kind of what's equivalent to an actual hoarder but when it comes to videos i keep a bunch of videos on my phone and they've been in here for years so what i'm gonna do is start unpacking them for y'all and making them into little mini vlogs so you can see how my life has been going so in cosmetology school part of our work was actually book work and formulas and chemistry and stuff like that but a big part of it was actually putting it to practice so you'll see at the beginning i was learning how to wax eyebrows place it on the tip of this and this is a, it's going to help you adhere to this and remove the process so then i feel like it is the best part for that because I cutting balls they wouldn't here. look yeah right so this is what we do okay. yeah. 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 yeah so we also did a nail workshop um we went through segments of these different topics and in this segment we focused on manicures and pedicures right here our model had some acrylic damage from an old set of nails that she had took off and that's from the acrylic yeah. yep so you want to go from corner to center 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 you never want to see some you do not do that okay if you do that it causes split nails it causes pain nails and all those things okay so um, the cuticle soften on all 10 fingers because remember it has to set for 15 or 30 minutes or 30 seconds i'm sorry yeah they be pushing it's always at a 45 degree. Demos was always my favorite part of class because we get to actually watch stuff being done and then put it to practice on each other. Um, a lot of times they'll use a student that's getting ready to graduate like our model right here. She just happened to not have nothing to do. Um, and that was a set of nails that I did on my partner. And then we also did pedicures on each other. Some people have weird things about feet. Like, comment down below if you're one of those people that really hate feet. Like, I don't hate feet. I just think sometimes people hygiene don't be up to par. But, I mean, this wasn't that bad. Especially when you're doing a pedicure in an environment with a lot of sterilization. Like, we sterilized everything. So... It's really not that bad, and I do my own feet, so feet don't really bother me, but <laughs> some people really just could not stand it and really hated doing pedicures. So this is my partner's feet. I think I did a pretty good job. It wasn't that hard. And then I went home and I spent some time with my oldest fur baby, Miss Honey. She is so sweet to me, but everybody else thinks she is so mean. <laughs> but she loves me and that's what matters. She is a senior cat, so she got to take it easy these days. She is very clingy to her mama, as you can see. So a couple days later, one of my favorite clients came by, who is a longtime client of mine. He always lets me do any style that I want to do. I'm always able to be creative with his hair. Um, he'll basically just sit down and say, do whatever you want. So I always get to try new styles and kind of freestyle with him. And he's been a client of mine for a very long time, almost 10 years. Um... I think he started coming to me in like 2015 or 2014, so about 10 years. I haven't seen him in a while, but in this clip, I just was trying to do some triangle part braids, and I actually made a mistake here. I ended up spending too much hair, like parting it wrong and messing up my triangles, and it still came out good. It looked kind of abstract, but... A few weeks later, maybe even a month later, he came back and I actually recreated the style and I was able to do it much faster, much more precise. Um, I'll, I'll insert a picture next, but and I don't even know what really went wrong with the style because I did this style a million times before, but I just was crunched for time and I was tired and something just went wrong, which is why I wanted to go to cosmetology school in the first place because... 
you're able to perfect your craft and perfect your technique so i'm a lot better now i think what really helped me get the style better and get it more consistent is what we studied a week or so before i redid this style so right at the beginning of february end of january we started studying um perm rod set and i've done perm rod sets before school but it wasn't in the professional way i had never actually did a real perm and i didn't realize that there was different names to the different parting styles like bricklay patterns and stuff like that and it's a certain way that you can start your parts to ensure that it's consistent throughout the whole head every single time and that really upgraded my braiding game this is what i did i really hated doing these because of the end wraps we had to put the little papers on the ends and that was just so hard to get the papers in the right position with your hands but I worked it out and I did good and I passed. Um, we actually had a party too. Some of my classmates was graduating from the classroom to the clinical floor. So basically you start off in a classroom and you do all of your schoolwork in the classroom in the school that I was in. And then you go out into the clinical floor where it's actually a salon and you take clients every single day and you put things to practice. You still have class a couple of times a week, but most of your work is hands on so we had a little party to celebrate them we had a little potluck my teacher was the best everybody brought food everybody brought desserts we played some music and we just had a really good time i really really miss my classmates and that was just a fun week for us and i spent some more time with my fur baby and y'all wait listen to me sing pause y'all i really love to sing and i always got a song stuck in my head and I'm always singing, especially when I'm in a good mood, even when I'm in a bad mood. So I didn't know if I wanted to put this in a video where I'm going to put it in a video. I know I'm not the best singer in the world, but I really, really just love to sing. So y'all going to have to bear with me, okay? There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lay your shit there. See how I breathe every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I would do. There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching the fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. The scars of your love remind me of us that keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The scars of your love leave me breathless. I can't help feeling we could have had it all. Rolling in the deep, you have my heart. At the time I recorded this, I was still smoking daily and I could just hear the strain in my voice looking back and I'm just so glad I quit smoking. And child, I carried on singing. Now, when I went back to school, we were studying um, color, we were studying perms, and we were studying the color wheel. Stay tuned for the next part. Bye, y'all.